Hey folks, um, it's Saturday afternoon. There's no real grand purpose for this video. Um, I do have a few albums that I picked up, or a few CDs that I picked up this week, and I'll show them off. But I thought I would kind of kick it off and just talking about what kind of videos you all can expect from me in the near future. Um, I'm as most of you know, right now, most of my collection is in storage. Uh, probably will be for a little while, but uh, I'm not going away. I'm just, I'm just going to change a few things about how I, how I uh, do videos. Um, I will be working on some programs to to learn how to edit a little bit. And that way I can at least show pictures a little easier than what I what I've been doing with the uh, YouTube editor. Uh, Farley was nice enough to uh, point me in the direction of a few of a few programs that should help, and uh, that way I can at least put do the pictures instead of actual actual albums since I don't really have them right now. Uh, so. As, as you're watching my videos, you may see some oddball stuff going on. Uh, random pictures might pop up here or there, just because I'm, I'm trying to learn. Um, so, having said all that, I do have about five albums, uh, or five CDs here. Uh, so let me show them. Uh, the first one that came in this week... Iron Maiden, Live After Death. Um, like I've always said, I'm a little late to the um, to the uh, mainstream metal party, and uh, so I'm still trying to get all of the uh, all of the CDs and stuff that probably most everybody has. Uh, Iron Maiden, it's taken me a little while, uh, you know. I'm working mainly right now on trying to trying to get all of all of Iron Maiden's releases along with Megadeth and Metallica. Uh, Metallica is is probably the one I'm closest to completing my collection, and I just find their stuff probably the, the easiest to find of the three. And then Megadeth is probably my favorite of the three, and and I'm. I've been fairly steady at trying to pick up theirs, and I've got one of theirs coming in now. Um, but yeah, I just don't see see them as often used in a shop. Uh, I usually have to order them, and then Iron Maiden. The I would be I would barely have cracked the surface if it hadn't been for that score that I had a couple months ago at the rec that record show that came through Louisville where I picked up like half a dozen of their albums. So uh, this this album I had noticed, I had been watching and, and wanting and noticed that uh, the CDs had jumped from 12 or 13 all the way up to 25 for some reason. I wasn't seeing a whole lot less than 25 but I I think this was an eBay purchase um, and I got it for for about 10 bucks and I thought that was pretty good pretty good pickup oh well okay <laughs> now also earlier this week I picked up some, uh, yeah, let's jump from Iron Ma Maiden to Glen Campbell. <laughs> I picked up some, ordered some Glen Campbell CDs uh, because I was afraid that um, since he just passed, uh, those those might uh, start going up in price. Um, so I ordered, I ordered his Adios and Ghost on the wall no ghost on the canvas and um there was a gospel cd that i got for like three bucks and then 
uh, the soundtrack to the documentary about his battle with Alzheimer's called um, I'll Be Me. I believe that's what it was called. <laughs> so, anyways, I have all of those coming. The first one to get here was I'll See, uh, see You There. And this album uh, has a lot of his classic songs on it, like Wichita Lineman, General On My Mind, uh, Galveston, uh, Rhinestone Cowboy. It has all of those on there. Um, and I was told, or well, I was told, I, I read somewhere that this album was recorded about the same time as Ghost on the Canvas. So... Uh, most of these I got, I ordered from Amazon, so I've I got the auto rips and uh, have been listening to them on my phone. Um, the, good album. Of course, Glenn is such a talented man. Uh, um, he gets a lot of, a lot of people talk about his guitar playing, but I really think that uh, he is a a tremendous, tremendous uh, vocalist as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to to getting the other one, other albums. I think there's still another gospel album that I really want to get a hold of because he actually does a duet with Russ Taff on on a song. So, all right. So the next CD I'm, I'm going to show you is uh, Jeff Moore. The next thing. Jeff Moore is a Christian artist. Uh, has been around since the early 80s, I believe. Uh, started as a soloist. Uh, here's a picture of Jeff on the back. He started as a solo artist um, doing... Uh, just doing kind of rock. Um, I wouldn't say that when I get his albums, I'm uh, the the playing on them are the, the musicians are good. The playing on it on all of those albums are good, but I don't know that that's why I listen to him. He's really a tremendous songwriter, and and it's really the songs that I go for because he's really he, he's really not even a, an exceptional vocalist. He's a good vocalist. But there are a lot of people that, that are probably more gifted. But Jeff, he just, he, he's a great songwriter, writes often with uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman. And, uh, and they've done a number of, of big songs for both Elm and Stephen Curtis. And, um, but, uh, I don't know. I think he, there's a there is an authenticity to what he does that makes him so appealing as a singer songwriter. Um, you just you just feel what he's singing about. And uh, so this album came out last year, and uh, I've listened to it a little bit. It's it's not a very rocking album even compared to some of his previous stuff. If you go back and listen, he, he had started out as a solo artist, had did an album called The Distance, and then adopted that name for the band that traveled with him. So it was for a long time it was Jeff Moore in The Distance until about five albums ago, and, and then he was back to being Jeff Moore, though I see some of the members of The Distance still playing on his albums. Um... I uh, did notice that a couple member, well, Stephen Long and uh, Derry Dartery of the choir played on this as well. Um, but, yeah, so Jeff is just a tremendous, tremendous songwriter. Uh, and I know that there's there have been a couple songs I listened to off of this that uh, that I really liked. And I have most, I have most everything Jeff does. Um... 
Yeah, and the Jeff Moore in the distance was was absolutely brilliant, especially right around the uh, time they were putting out stuff like uh, the album Foundations and A Place to Stand and and all those all those hits. Uh, so uh, the fourth album I got I had ordered a while back and it came in. I was about to say finally, but it really didn't take all that long. Uh, it came to me from Rox Records. Got a little sticker with it. I guess that's their new anniversary logo. I buy a lot of stuff from Rox Records, but the uh, the CD is the reissue of Vengeance Rising, Human Sacrifice. I need to pop the shrink off this and and burn it to my phone so I can listen to it. But uh, this this CD uh, has been issued a couple times. The original, I think, the original CD that Frontline put out way back when, I think it generally, when I've seen it on eBay or some other website, they usually run $60 or more. Uh, the picture disc that uh, they did off of this album runs about a hundred, and I, I th there was a reissue of this a few years back, and I think those are running over, well over a hundred, like 120, 130, maybe somewhere in there. So I was very glad to uh, to see Rocks Records reissue this and and uh, picked it up for a very reasonable. Well, what was it, 15 bucks or something like that? All right, and then this final one was a good score. Uh, let's see if, um, I don't know if I can get to it quickly or not. But I had to go to a website that I had never heard of uh, to get this album. Bonanza is the name of the website. Bonanza, but I picked up a copy of uh, Classic Petra, Back to the Rock. This was put out, uh, what was this put out, 2010, so it was put out seven years ago. Uh, Petra got back together with uh, Greg X. Voles at uh, doing lead vocals, and they cut this album that's, I think, uh, I think Back to the Rock's the only original on here. Everything else, I'm pretty sure, maybe Too Big to Fail might be original. But anyway, was very glad to, to find this. This had gone out of print recently, and I couldn't find it anywhere for less than 30 until I went, until I did just a Google shopping search and uh, it brought up a copy on the the um, website Bonanza and uh, I ended up getting this from this one for 10 so I was I was very happy I didn't think I was going to be able to get it I had a digital download of it but I really wanted a copy of the CD and so uh, super Super pleased to have found this this copy. So that does it for what I've picked up here lately. Uh, so I will, like I said, it's Saturday afternoon. It might be Saturday, late Saturday night, Sunday before I get this out there because. Um, I think I'm going to play with it a little bit and see what I can see what I can do. So appreciate you hanging in there with me, and um, I will see you soon.